106 in Park. Clash of the Titans, baby, it's finally today. Now, Kanye is coming out a little later, but right now, please give an official warm welcome to a hip hop titan, someone you also know as Curtis. Y'all show some love for Mr. 50 Cent. 50! Yeah. All the hype, September 11th is yeah, finally man, here. Yeah. The 11th of September is finally here. Curtis is finally in stores. What's going on through your head right now, though? Oh, man, I feel real good. I mean, this is not, I mean, this is big for hip hop for us to be coming out on the same date, but Kanye West doesn't stand a chance. Oh, you know, I'm gonna tell you that early. Yeah. How have, how have you grown, how have you grown on this project from your last one? Where are you at creatively right now? I know it's all there because everybody's going crazy. Yeah. Where are you at creatively right now? Oh, uh, man, I'm in a good space. You know what I mean? I feel like I might, um, be releasing another album this year. Before, uh, good. Well, available right now at Walmart is a limited edition of 50's new album and DVD. That's the only place yeah. you can get it. It's the DVD two pack at Walmart right now. So go cop that. Sorry. Now, I'm looking at the album cover, right? Yeah. And I see, I remember the first two album covers was, you know, ladies really liked the shirt off look that you had going on. But this album, on Curtis, it's you decided yeah. not to do the shirt off. Why, why a different album cover? Well, I mean, you don't want to do the same thing over and over. Creatively, it was just a new direction, and I thought that it'd be closer. To bring them closer to me would bring the photograph closer also, you know? Okay. Oh, speaking for, oh, oh, oh. who is this in the album covers? Huh? Well, it's a model, you know it's what I mean? It's a model. She looks a lot like Sierra. Is uh, that y'all look it's, crazy, man. Am I, I'm not the only one. I know some of y'all have copped the album, right? Was that done intentionally, or you just nah, got a hottie? This, this album photo packaging was done four months before the music video. Oh, okay. Remember, I was scheduled to release June 26th. Those, Absolutely. Those photos were shot back then, you know, and then the idea to shoot the music video came, and then finally came out, and y'all was so stuck on the idea of me being with Sierra <laughs> that y'all thought that was Sierra. And we still stuck on that now, so Man. go count the album so you can see the yeah, inner it workings looks a right lot here. Like it, but um, you know, albums always get shifted around, yeah. moved around. But what was your reaction when you heard Kanye's album was coming out? He moved it to your deck. But to be honest, I thought they would move the date. You know, I didn't think it was a, a good idea at first. And then I thought about it, and I was like, yo, this is gonna be good. So I started working towards it. Like Kanye hasn't said anything disrespectful or expressed any discomfort to the success I've been having. So it's not an actual beef. It's just being competitive. You know, as far as yeah. hip hop is concerned, the competitive nature of it is something different. And one thing we know is G Unit is the most competitive crew, I think, oh, that's yeah. out in hip hop right now. But what is this that I hear about Jim Jones being the new member of G Unit? Well, I mean, Jim Jones. What? And then nah, y'all nah. go right there. Yeah, that's me hands? and Jim Jones on Rap City. We got a chance to sit down and talk a little bit. I mean, we ain't have no actual issues. Like Cam just, he said some things. That was his decision to do that. And it wasn't actually the rest of the entire camp. That's why I didn't never make it a 50 Cent versus Dipset thing. I just mm -hmm. kept it 50 Cent and Cameron because he made a mistake. You know what I mean? But is, See, where's Cameron? He's missing right okay, now. Okay, but is Jim Jones part of G-Unit? You're not listening to me. Relax. Is Jim Jones part of G-Unit? No, Jim Jones ain't part of G-Unit, but you'll get a chance to see us possibly work together in the future because we haven't done anything disrespectful to each other. All right, so look, if you want more info on that, make sure you tune in tomorrow. Rap City's going to be on and popping. With these hosting, as you saw, Jim Jones will be stopping by. That's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Right now, it's time for the first new joint of the day, and it's off your Curtis album, all right? So yeah. let's get it cracking. You got Robin Thicke on this track. Tell oh, us yeah, about it. follow my lead. You ready to get on to it right now? Yeah, I want them to check that out. All right, let's do it, y'all. Follow my lead. Brand new joint of the day. 50, Robin Thicke, let's go! BT Award. My BT Award. Hey. Type platinum titan artist, all right? Y'all ready? Right, Kanye West, bring him out. Go ahead, boy. What's up, Mr. West? Yeah. Woo. 
Kanye West is in the building, 106 Apart. Yes, I am. Now, we was watching TRL earlier today, and they said that you didn't show up because you left the VMAs empty-handed. Well, what's been going on with that whole situation? Because I know well, I, a lot of I don't want to speak too much on it, but everybody thinks that, you know, that, you know, I, I really snap out because of not winning. But it's, it's just a lot of things that happen behind the scenes where where you're just not giving a fair shake, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And then, I, I, this is the answer they wrote for me. I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> Talk to us, though. You know, it was always my dream to open the award show with Stronger. You know, and, and, and you know, they talked me into doing a sweet thing. And um, when they had Britney open, I, you already, I said, how you gonna have Britney open? Because she not ready. We, we be touring across the, the, the world, you know, give it to the artists that deserve it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have been mad if they opened with Fall Out Boy, if they opened with Timbaland, the way I are. I wouldn't have been mad at that, you know what I'm saying? So they told me, man, that, that man at theater stage, it, it, it don't look good, man. You know, you, you don't want to perform that, because you know me, I need that big stage. We, we I'm, got I'm the biggest stage down. we have, you know and we got it for you. There you go. They told me that. I, I said, I need that big stage. See, you don't want, they gonna be sitting down. You don't want that. You just need the suite. So then I came in and I seen that stage. I said, let me get down there. Brittany, do, oh, do not do that. Let me get that chance. But then they gave me a suite. They gave Justin a Timberland suite. You know, Justin is my favorite artist and also my biggest competition. I feel like we Mike and Prince of the day, of today. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I'm sitting backstage, you know, I already ate the fact I ain't win no awards. And I seen Justin getting ready. I'm like, where you going? He said, we're going to perform. I said, where? He said, on the main stage. I said, the stage that they ain't let me perform on? And that's when I got the, com the, the comments from backstage. I said, give a black man a chance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I'm at, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Middle America. I'm sorry, Red States. You know, but, um, I, I just can't, I can't do it, man. I can't get with it, man. So that's what it is, man. And, and I, MTV has helped me a okay. lot, you know, and that's, and that's all it is, man. Well, you know. one thing that it is, is that graduation is in stores today, yes. all right? Check it out. Finally. One thing I know is that we do play your video here, and we do love you when you do perform, which she will be doing in a little bit. Yeah. But um, a lot of people don't get the opportunity and the chance to actually collaborate with you and be on your actual album. And I only noticed like really three people, Lil Wayne, Dwele, and some other people. What does it take to get on a Kanye album? Man, you know, I'm very, I'm very selective. You know, people question, you know, the collaboration I did with T-Pain just because people know that I'm very selective and T-Pain was on a lot of things. And I just felt like T-Pain was a, is, is a genius. You know, I think he's the most important person and, uh, you know, in music right now because of all the hits, all the beautiful music that he's bringing to us. And he just brought a, a vibe to the Good Life track that was just undeniable. So sometimes people try to front on people because they got too much out. You know, my album basically is a time capsule of whatever year it comes out. So in the time capsule of 2007, what's two of the main artists you remember of 2007? Lil Wayne and T-Pain. So they deserve to be on Kanye West album because Kanye West yeah. album is basically... Church. When it drops, my album is the pinnacle of what music is at that time. It's clearly the mm -hmm. best album that you can buy. People understand that it's branded at this point. People understand I bring quality music. I I I, I will I will stay in the studio. As you can see right now, I'm losing my voice from doing performances because I, I care about this music, man. I got this opportunity to be on TV and to perform for y'all. Now this is my job, man, to give y'all the best I can give y'all. All right. And the best you did give us, because graduation is off the chain, but um, I have to know, what was going through your head when you decided to release the same day as 50? Man, you know, actually the way it happened is, the artwork was taking a long time. As you can see this, it was done by Takashi Mirakami, one of the foremost pop, no, don't clap, man, because I got more info. It's <laughs> one of the more, most form foremost pop artists in the world, like Damien Hirst and Jeff Koons, so Google those, Google those people. And uh, one of his paintings that might be five foot by five foot can go up, go for up to a million dollars. So it was a, a, a blessing for me to be able to work with him. And I figured that I wanted to just give people a little bit more on the packaging to give them more incentive. So this is actually a collector's item now that will be worth more than probably what the album costs years from now because of mm. the status of the artist. And it, it took longer for the art. And I, we had to move, move the date back for the artwork alone. Then I said, they Said, I said, let's just do 9-11. Uh, and he said, 50 got that date. I said, okay, let's go. 
So and let's go. Yo, we shall. And, you know, we got to hear the album. A lot of bangers on there, including your next single off of the album. Matter of fact, go ahead and give it to them. It's on the album, The Graduation, in stores today. Kanye featuring T-Pain. Let them know what it is. Oh, my God. It's so unfair. Once you all see this video, it's the best thing you ever seen in your life. I swear to God. This right here is the good life. The Titans. It's crazy. Dog. So look, you seen them individually right now. You know what we gotta do. Give it up for Kanye and 50 Cent. Oh. To it right now. now, this is definitely a big day in hip hop. It's a monumental day in hip hop. We got to know how are both of y'all feeling right now? It's 11th of September. How are both of y'all feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm elite. Of course, I'm feeling good. He brought his big brother with him, and his big brother ain't no competition for me. You know, I'm, 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 it's a lot, it's a lot of room over, it's a lot of room right over there, man. Yeah, where's uh, Big Brother at? Oh, do we got to call yeah. Jay out? Where's yeah. Big Brother at? I think, I think he's gone. I think he can handle yeah. this by himself. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a horse, so I had to hand a mic off, you know, to my Big Brother help me out a little bit, a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you guys both I represent two totally different styles in hip-hop. Do you guys feel that all these different styles can coexist with each other? He, he was saying, do you feel like all the staff can coexist? Of course. You know what I mean? Everybody's they had a different preference. I feel like I'm at a point in my career that people, I'm Muhammad Ali right now. You know what I mean? And what I mean is a lot of people watch, but they don't necessarily want to see me win because I won so big in front of them in a short period of time. You know what I mean? So it's all the way good. What do you guys think of the state of hip hop right now, like overall? I feel like it's in a great state, you know? Kenny Chesney came out thinking he finna outsell either of us, and everybody's come out to the stores, you know, standing up, you know? It just shows you how big this music is, and you take the two biggest rock stars in, in hip-hop right now, put them together, and we're gonna do numbers like you never seen before. All right, now, for, for some people that don't know who Kenny Chesney is, he's a country singer. Actually, you know about him, right? No, I mean, he's the top of the country game right, right now. Yeah, there he goes right there. He's like the... That's the first music. time I ever seen this picture. <laughs> Y'all know Take any of his down. records? Y'all know any of his music at all? Never heard of him. Yeah, Never. you heard any of his tracks? I mean, I don't listen to country, so I'll be ignorant to, you know, I'm sure he's killing it. Because he's always debuted at number one, too. Y'all nervous, nervous at all? Y'all nervous at all? Because he's always been on top, too. I, I never, I'm never nervous. I, if, if I win, I win. If I lose, I win. I'm, I'm, I'm here on, I'm like, I'm standing, I'm next to 50. I'm next to you right here. I'm, my big brother just came out. It's a moment for me right now. <laughs> Okay. So, real quick, y'all had to have listened to each other's album. Kanye, do you have a favorite 50 song on the Curtis album right now? My favorite, my favorite Look joint, y'all. You little haters, you like <laughs> bloggers. <laughs> 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 you are stupid. <laughs> shout, shout out, shout out to Concrete Loop. Um, Yo, yeah, my, my favorite joint is I Get Money on the album. But I like this joint he got that I don't think on the album. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to talk about that. I'm getting money, but I don't want to talk, talk about it. Okay, so which one is your favorite Ye song? Have you heard the album, Graduation? Right now, well, as soon as I get my money right. I told him that in the studio before he put the song out. You know, I, I got a chance to hear that before his album came out. No doubt. Good, good Life's also a banger. How did you feel when you heard him borrow one of your lyrics in that joint? Now, that was good. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all got something else going on right now. And, um, that was good. I mean, but you know, that's what hip, that's what hip hop is. We borrow from each other all the time. All 
All right, well, let, let's speak outside of the studio, outside of hip hop, just personally from each other. What's one thing you might admire from Kanye about his style? What's one thing you admire of his? Well, for 50, it's, it's just um, overcoming the adversities. A lot of things in America that, you know, they don't want to see. You know, for me, it was easier for me because I had, like, polo shirts for, for them to accept what my image was. For him to break through that gate, you know, and, and do it in a, in, with his style, I really honor, I respect that on a on, on serious side, though. Fifth? Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, Kanye, he don't need me to tell you, you know what I mean? Kanye West is a great producer. He can bring different things to the table. And Slash rapper. He bring a different... Ah! Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm just saying as far as the production, like initially, the first project, when it was coming, I wanted to hear it because I knew production-wise he was going to be able to bring something. He was saving some of the beats that he had for himself. You know what I mean? So I, that's the initial reason. But away from that, he, he surprised me with, uh, with Gold Digger. I think he went through what I went through with Straight to the Bank and Amusement Park with Diamonds. It's forever, and then I think it it corrected it, like to the public. Things changed right before that album went out when he put out that Gold Digger record. No doubt. We're gonna talk a little bit more, but something that we've never seen Has is the people vote like this. Never happened before, all right? Now, of course, this is the countdown, mm -hmm. and we do have to have a number one. So today, the number one video is both 50 Cent, I Get Money, and Kanye West. I can't tell them, tell me nothing. Y'all take out. That's politically correct. It is number one today.